It has been so much time since I have last vlogged. George Floyd passed away in between the last clip and this clip and the country went haywire protesting Black Lives Matter again. The entire movement was reignited. I feel like conversations between typically uncomfortable white people trying to avoid race or like acknowledging it are now understanding it's better to say I see that you're black and I understand the systematic issues that you have faced because of it as opposed to trying to convince themselves that they don't see color and everyone's equal. We all know that everyone should be equal but just the way that the country works everyone is not equal and that's what we're fighting for. What else? Corona? Daddy Cuomo said that numbers are low. Today, as of right now, New York has entered phase two. You can get a haircut. I'm going to get a haircut. I really need a haircut. I'm desperately ready to see my family. I've been in New York for far too long. This vlog series has been one of the greatest things to ever happen to me. Okay, that was a really big and bold statement. This vlog series has been a wonderful thing. I want to make a finale to this series. This is not said finale, but the finale should be in the next video or so, I would think. I want it to end with me going home, you know? Seeing my parents pick me up and that's that's the end. I'm no longer alone in New York City. I'm fantasizing about it. I'm volunteering at a food pantry tomorrow. And in my head, I'm like, why did I do this um, when I should be self-isolating in hopes to get home to see my family sooner? Pros and cons. Yeah, I, I'll ex I don't know. I don't know. I just want to go home. Today has been one of those days where I'm incapable of getting anything done. It's so stupid. Time to start off Monday on a good foot, like showered. Listen to some productivity, podcasty things. I don't know if it's just the messy house, which in that case, I'll clean it. I don't know if I just need caffeine. I've already had a coffee this morning. I had an espresso, but I'm tempted to go out and get a matcha. For no real reason, but sometimes matcha hits different. Matcha is more like a vibe dance where it's like a slow release. <laughs> okay, my hair looks so bad right now. Which scent bird should I use? This is not sponsored, I'm just, you know, getting ready. So which scent bird should I pick? Let's do Anna Sweet today. Not sure if I already told you this. If I already told you this, then whatever. If I haven't, this one is Sweet Mandarin, Water Lychee, Jasmine, and Woody Vanilla. It's a very dimensional scent. Also, she went to my school. So for outfit of the day, I'm wearing little bike shorts and then this tank top that my friend made. Check out Dream Gal. And then I have on my new Nike Rivalries. They're basically like the Adidas version of an Air Force One. You know what, baby? It's time to change it up. And then I have this purse, which people ask me if it's YSL, and to be honest, I got it at Goodwill, so I'm gonna go with no. Like, why would YSL make a bag that looks like this? I only purchased it because, you know, you get a small amount of clout for someone who's just blindly looking at your bag, but mostly the shape is pretty fire. So this is my little sporty look. And then of course I have this, I don't know what they're called. What are they called? What kind of clips are they? What's it called? What's it called? Okay, I'll hopefully find a title sign. Got a new mask. Time to go get matcha. And maybe sunscreen because I just ran out. And I'm trying to not burn. Should I show you my sunburn? Look at it. Can you see this one? Look at my sunburn. That's not my bra. That is a sunburn line. Time to go. Than 20 minutes and I just feel so much more alive and free to roam <laughs> except for maybe this <laughs> okay now that I have my headphones for editing I feel free to roam and I think I'm actually going to work on the kitchen makeover right now so I'm gonna be working on a different video but I might include some of the clips in this vlog as well I am back at it again with Tyra having a little cooking date. Hi. From the beginning of quarantine to the end of quarantine. Yes. Well, hopefully the end, fingers crossed. This is my stir fry. Doesn't she look beautiful? 
I've been making variations of the stir fry since I found a recipe on Bon Appetit. This one actually has noodles at the bottom of it. You just can't see it, but I tasted it and it tastes very good. Hey team, today I'm gonna cut my hair. I didn't cut my hair last time on camera, so I'm going to do it this time on camera. John told me that Jenna Marbles did this ponytail thing where she flipped it like this. <laughs> See? I'm not ready. I'm not ready to do Let's do like a very small amount. <laughs> That's really not much at all. Okay, let's chop her. That's like not that much hair. I got rid of maybe an inch and a half. I feel like this is the type of haircut every single person has been giving themselves in core. <gasps> Easy breezy beautiful. Am I going to even notice a difference? No, I don't notice a difference at all. Well, I kind of look exactly the same. Technically, I did give myself a haircut, so I'm gonna toss this and then I wanna show you my outfit. I have this shirt um, that says Hawaii. It's a little ribbed tank top and guess where I got it? Hawaii. And then I have all these Ralph Lauren pants that I thrifted. I got them at the Goodwill outlets. I filmed an entire haul on that experience, it was fabulous. And then I took them to get tailored, but they're still loose. Like I still have a good bit of room in the front and the back, but I don't really care. They're way more comfortable this way. And then for shoes, they're from Princess Polly. I doubt they still have them, uh, but you know, sort of like a clog-like shoe, open-toed clog, sandal heel. That's totally not it. I'm sorry for being an idiot. Okay, let's put in some hair oil. Just a little bit. Every influencer and their mother has this Gisu honey infused hair oil. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. I finally got my Lexi bracelet fixed and now I'm so obsessed that I have it as my Abby like slash profile picture on all my social media. So you go to my Twitter, you go to my Instagram, you even look at my YouTube channel. And this is what you will see, not my face, because who cares about that? Like, I'm here for this shiny gold nameplate. This ball bracelet from Majuri, and then this gold chain from Ana Luisa. Let's spray a little facial mist. Now I'm just sticking around. I should have put on lip liner. My lips are looking crusty. Mmm, beautiful, darling. Why am I so confident? No idea. Literally no idea. I'm with another human. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> and you know how Tyra and I always cook on FaceTime? Yes. Guess what? In person today. <laughs> Do you think this is good or no? I, I can't see. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Yeah. I figured it'd be cute if we gave a little outfit of looks. Hey. Fully not remembering that I had already showed my outfit. I switched the shoes and I hadn't shown the purse, so those are the only things that I left for you to see. I have on my new Adidas Rivalries. Cool. Okay, so I have on this green button down from The Break, which is like a vintage store in the city. Biker shorts are Brandy Melville, shamelessly. <laughs> and then the shoes are um, Princess Polly. We didn't show your hair clips. I mean, so well, this is the brown and the green is just, I feel like so matchy. Let me see with the shoes, it might, yeah, 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 it's too much. And I have a black bag. People say black and navy don't go together. No, it looks good. I think she's chic. I think she's fun. I think it's girl on the go. Where is she from? Kosha Numbers, a handbag designer based in Oregon. Love them. I feel like I'm part of like Refinery29. <laughs> Thank you so much for this outfit of the day. Thanks, thanks for watching. Oh my God, I can't believe that I just vlogged at another friend's house. It's been so long, as you know, since I've done that. It should feel right, but I was like, this is crazy. Going to meet up with Tyra right now, and we're gonna go to one of my favorite furniture stores in the city called Dobbin Street Co-op. We just call it Dobbin. And I wanted to show my outfit. I don't have my shoes, but flowy top from the break. This is actually the same store that Tyra got her shirt in. Once again, like really good vintage shop. My new purse. And then I'm wearing these flowy pants from Revolve. 
And then I'm gonna wear my white sneakers. I was wearing little jean shorts, but I'm going biking. We're gonna bike there. And I just need something that covers my thighs. Bike shorts are a really good option, logically, uh, but they're all dirty. I shall put an earrings. Let's see. I'll bring my camera with me. I have a purse that's big enough and I can show you Dobbin. I think you'll like it. I also want to get some footage of it for my apartment makeover video that I'm making. Feeding two birds with one scone. I think I'm good to go. Biking in New York City is uh, something else. Yeah, if I can do it, anyone can do anything, I'm telling you. I vouched out if Tyra can so do it, anyone lazy. can do it. I'm so lazy. My legs started off a little weak, but we got there. I also was terrified of the trucks, and Lexi was just like zooming fucking through. Now that we're around people, the mask has to go back on. We both purchased things. Tyra got this mirror. It's really gigantic. Like, I would. Oh, do you think that's it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry guys, I gotta start heavy lifting. But I got this chair. Good morning. Me look like in camp counselor mode. Oh, I would die to be a camp counselor. I'm not though. First thing on today's agenda is um, the most important thing. I'm getting my COVID test just to make sure I'm good to go home. My mama's gonna pick me up without me getting tested and I'm like, stop. I'm not putting you in danger, no. It got me really upset. I actually got like really worked up about it. Okay, then I'm gonna finish applying to this job I started last night. I applied to one job already last night and I got such a high from it. It's like, oh, you click send and you're like, oh, okay, let's see if I get it. Let's see if I, if I get a call back. Then I have a few other things on the list. But first thing I have to get that stick up my nose to let me know if I have the godforsaken Rona or not. My outfit today is kind of stupid. It's just like a baby tank. And I have on. I'm the worst at outfit of the days in the vlog. Would you ever see a fashion blogger say like, baby top, jeans? <laughs> no. I'm back because I want to show you a little mask wearing tip. I saw a guy at a protest doing this. So this mask that I have kind of is loose. What you can do is take it and twist the strap before you put it on your ear. So instead of putting it around your ear like this, you twist it first and it tightens it a little bit. Then it fits better on your face. Oh, what a world. I'm nervous. I'm procrastinating now because I'm like, okay, the moment's here. Like, what happens if I come back positive? Wish me luck. <laughs> 